Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Are You The One? Hosted by me, Hot Dogs. Yeah, that's the beautiful voice you hear right now. And we are here, it's funny because in the last episode I was saying it's like the penultimate uh, matching ceremony, but this is actually the penultimate episode. That's going to be our vocab word for the week. Um, but this is going to be the last ever Truth Booth ceremony before Friday's finale. So on Monday, when we last had our uh, matching ceremony, our couples were able to get six out of the eight correct. However, they only know three of those couples. There's four that they got correct, but they're not too sure which ones are right and which two were incorrect. And they're going to need to fix They're going to need to figure that out before Friday's finale. So it seems as though most of our house guests are still asleep. Uh, We see that Bruno is picking up some of the trash while Vince is having a little bit of leftovers from that failed incognito party that they had last night. Um, Once everything is done being cleaned, Bruno decides to strip down and relax in the sauna. As they only have a couple more days left here in the house, they might as well take up all of those amenities and use them up for what they're worth. We see that Vince is now getting his boogie on still. Um, That's probably been everyone's favorite activity apart from uh, woohooing. This dancing corner and stripper pole have been definitely everyone's highlight of (laughs) this series. Um, Eventually, though, I think all of the music and dancing from downstairs does wake up all of our house guests, and they all eventually make their way into the living room to have some breakfast and to get the day started. So not only is there food left over from that incognito party, but there's also some drinks left over from the bartender we hired. So it seems as though the hair of the dog is doing uh, the best for Vince right now to recover from his night. However, it looks as though some of those drinks are spoiled. So I'm not too sure who's going to be the unlucky one to grab the wrong drink because Sims are dumb and they're going to drink it regardless of if it's oozing green uh, fog or not. Um, It seems as though a lot of the girls are hanging out by the pole and dancing. Alice is breaking out into the robot and it looks as though Latoya and Rosalie are getting to know each other a little bit better. It seems as though Pace has joined Bruno in the sauna, and the two of them are getting it on. Meanwhile, outside, Cassidy is giving Vince a massage. I don't think Cassidy's even flirted with anyone else. She walked into this house, locked eyes with Vince, and the two of them have been a pair ever since. Um, He seems thrilled. Jonas and Felicity are hanging out in the ocean, swimming around. He's splashing Felicity on her float, and I thought it might make her upset, but she doesn't seem too bothered by it. And Jonas ends up hopping onto the jet ski and giving me that hot jet ski action I crave. Back inside, we see that we have a ping pong match going on between Alice and Rosalie while Yolanda dances, and we have Kayla cleaning up from the night before. However, it looks as though Felicity might be a little bit hungover. But let's be real, I know what you guys are are all waiting for, and that is our truth booth ceremony. So why don't we go on, gather all of our house guests into the living room, and let's try to figure out some of these... I have mush mouth today on all days for me to film a voice only episode. I cannot speak. I am sorry for that, but... Yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather. Okay. Now that all of you have gathered in the living room, well, except for Jonas. Come on, Jonas. Get in here. You too, Cassidy. (laughs) 
All right, it is so hard to gather the Sims sometimes, but now that you are all finally here in the living room, let's go ahead and start our last ever truth booth ceremony. So there's quite a few of you that seem to be pretty much solely into one another. Um, and the first pair that we're going to have going to the truth booth is going to be Pace and Bruno. The two of you are pretty close and you only really have eyes for one another. So let's see if that is worth it in the end or if you might be those two pairs that are not a match. Why don't you go on and head into the truth booth? <laughs> all right and congratulations bruno and pace you guys are in fact a match so that chemistry was for something all along so the two of you were one of the matches that were matched last night how many times can i say match uh <laughs> but the two of you were one of the pairs last night and will now be sent off to your own honeymoon suite so go on leave the truth booth say goodbye to the rest of your house guest and go enjoy some of that privacy you two have been desperately seeking So what did you guys think of Pace and Bruno? Did you see them being a couple? Do you think they're a perfect match? Do you think they'll last outside of the house? Yada, yada, yada. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Because like always, I'm a very lonely wiener and I need your comments to survive, to live, to breathe. I need them. So go on and leave those or give me a like because I'll do... I'll. I'll handle that as well. If you don't want to sit there and type me a nice long message like a good friend would, you could just give me a thumbs up. But uh, the two of them are going to take that long journey all the way across the island where we have a new set of bungalows and they're going to have first pick of which one they want. However, we are not done here in the main house. We are going to go ahead and send Felicity and Jonas into the truth booth. You two, like Pace and Bruno, have really only had eyes for one another. Well, except for when Jonas had eyes for Liana and got her pregnant, and Felicity was also flirting with a few other guys, but and Kayla, a few other girls as well. Uh, but if we look past all of that, the two of you have been together for most of the season. So does that mean you're a perfect Ooh, match? Man. Alright, Felicity and Jonas, you are indeed a perfect match. I'm not too sure if that's a huge surprise or not. I mean, I feel like a lot of you guessed it. I feel like a lot of you didn't want them to be a perfect match. Uh, they both really tested the waters with other people, getting them pregnant, turning lesbian, doing a little bit of everything. But they ended up, uh, they kept coming together. Uh, no matter who they flirted with, they still had eyes for one another. And there was still that kind of burning desire in the back background throughout most of the series so i don't know i feel like if you were shipping them it's a pretty good finale for the two of them but if you weren't i'm really sorry to disappoint <laughs> but felicity and jonas say goodbye to the rest of your house guests as you are going to be joining pace and bruno in the honeymoon suite as we now have five confirmed perfect matches uh again let me know what you think down below
All right, so for the last remaining bit of the episode, let's just go on over to the honeymoon suite and let's see what these couples get into. Um, we see that Felicity and Jonas are finally making their way over. And I gotta say, I think this location's a better location than the other honeymoon suite. I love that they're right by a waterfall. It looks beautiful. It seems as though Pace and Bruno have picked the blue suite and are instantly uh, snuggling up, giving each other some kisses and enjoying that privacy they've been seeking while they've been in the house they're constantly trying to find a room or they can be alone and they haven't really done that that successfully i mean i guess they have considering but now they're finally able to just cuddle up with one another be all lovey-dovey and flirt and i don't know i feel like they're almost the most romantic couple we've seen come in here usually they just get right on into woohooing but the two of them kind of flirted kissed snuggled and then had a deep passionate woohoo session in the shower which for some reason pace was fully clothed for even though we know he's not shy of being nude and then we see felicity and jonas so they go ahead and pick the orange suite and the two of them end up heading inside and i have some news for you it wasn't just a hangover that felicity was suffering from in fact she's actually pregnant so while she was in the house she wasn't really able to get pregnant but as soon as we got out of the house that belly grew and she is now fully pregnant um am i a liar yeah obviously i'm a liar i'm a huge liar um however she didn't show her pregnancy until she got here i didn't know about it i thought she was hungover and when jonas finds out about this news he instantly proposes he says you know I'm not having, I'm not losing another one of my baby mamas in this game. You're a perfect match. You're pregnant. It's meant to be. And the two of them are now engaged. And so this kind of adds a little extra flavor in our finale on Friday, as not only will we be having our final matching ceremony, but we're also going to be having Felicity and Jonas's wedding. Again, I hope you're a fan of this couple, because if not, <laughs> you're going to have to deal now with a baby and a wedding. And we're going to have to see how Liana reacts, because just from finding out that Liana was pregnant, she didn't take that too well and started fighting Jonas, fighting Vince, fighting uh, Felicity. Are we going to have two pregnant women brawling at this wedding? Uh, is she going to object? what's gonna happen you'll have to stay tuned and not only will we have that going on but we're gonna have our last matching ceremony where we find out if they're able to figure out those two perfect matches or if everyone is going to go home empty-handed what do you guys think about everything let me know down below and make sure to like share subscribe hit the bell i do only have one more video coming up from this series but i have so many other series in the works and I hope you guys stick around and find out what all is coming. Uh, again, all lots and scents are available on the gallery. I love all you. 